Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to talk about how you're wrong about the real SCP Foundation. So what does that mean? Well, the problem I've always had is that there's sort of a disconnect between what we call on-site and off-site fandoms. There's an on-site fandom that consists of authors and readers who are actually registered on the site. Although there's a lot of overflow with the off-site fandom in that, um, people who just visit the site probably have to see ads because they're not registered on Wikidot. And uh, yeah, they just read the articles as they are on the page. And if they engage with it, they engage with it outside of the site. They create, you know, fandom, satellite fandoms instead of operating inside the site. Um, and there's gatekeeping on both sides. We, we could possibly talk about that a little bit later. But the important part is the disconnect between what off-site wants and what on-site wants is driven primarily by who is and isn't registered on the site. It honestly, and this is sad to say, doesn't matter what you want to see on the SCP Wiki if you're not registered and don't vote. Votes drive content on the SCP Wiki. It's There's no... Uh, view count on an SCP article. It doesn't matter how many people read it. If they didn't vote on it, it's an unsuccessful article. Now, because there is like overflow, there are plenty of people off site who are technically registered on site, and those people do vote on articles. Uh, and so they do have some influence, but the vast majority don't. And uh, those people who are registered on site are, I mean, you would argue that they are, maybe they're part of the on-site culture, but really they belong more to the outside sort of series one-ish uh, fans. And that's the other half of the problem, I think. And, th and this came out of, there was a video I did a couple of, like it was last week, I think, where I was, was it last week? I think it may have been last week or the week before that. But I did a video about how there is a uh, sort of a difference uh, between the SCP wiki and what people would consider mainline canons uh, of any television show or movie or book series or any sort of collaborative project almost always has a single unified canon. And even where it doesn't, the lack of a unified canon is part of the canon and still has internally consistent worlds. Like Marvel is a great example. Marvel has, and, and uh, DC might even be a, another example um, Marvel and DC have separate worlds because they like to have different versions of their heroes that have showed up in the past. But there's always um, sort of a multiversal canon as well, uh, and there is consistency between them. Characters cross over between them and, and such. On the SCP Wiki, that's really not the, the way it works. There are distinctive, deliberately contradictory canons that really have nothing to do with each other in any way. And you might ask yourself, why is that hard to get your head around? Well, first of all, I, I talked about how younger people generally have encounter less fiction and therefore this is new to them. But the thing is, when the wiki was first being created, that was the way it was. There was a single unified canon. That was the point of the early wiki. And series one reflects this. So people who read primarily series one SCPs approach the wiki completely differently than people who read beyond that. And it is part of the source of the disconnect between our off-site and on-site fandoms. Um, literally, each of them is approaching the wiki in a completely different way because after Series 1, the SCP wiki became something very different than what it was before. So if you only read Series 1, and this isn't about quality that people will always make that argument this is more just gatekeeping than anything else when people go series one sucks you should read s stuff beyond that that's the part of the the thing that they like so that's the part that they read i don't really think there's anything wrong with that it's just maybe it's a reflection of poor taste maybe it's not a reflection of poor taste it's just a reflection of taste but the important part is, is that if that's what you read you see the scp wiki completely differently if somebody writes a tale about SCP-682, to you, it must remain internally consistent because everything else you've read in that Series 1 bubble is general, not everything, but mostly internally consistent. There are cross-links and everything, everything is very tightly packed together. All the tales interact with each other. All the SCPs interact with each other. 
And so what we end up with are, and this is the other half of it. So this reflects on the quality of the articles, right? If you're one of those people who we're, we're going to use, can keep using off and on site here. Although really the crux of the issue is series one fans versus everybody else. And I hate to make it a versus, but this really is the uh, ultimate clash on the SCP wiki. People, the everybody else, when they approach a series one article, approaches it in isolation, right? As a single article and they evaluate it thusly so their evaluation is necessarily going to be much um what's the word um much less than somebody who approaches it as part of a greater scheme of articles which is what they were written as in the first place right this is the disconnect this is the serious problem if i i mean scp-343 as an isolated article is terrible it's a very badly written article. And in fact, most people, even Series 1 fans, can agree with that much. But if if you look at it in the scope of the dozen or so articles, and I think there may even be more than that, but the dozen or so articles and tales in the SCP Series 1 um, that either feature heavily or are about SCP-343 then it's just one tiny part of a greater story. And the greater story is better, by the way. The 343, as he has drawn in, um, I can't remember the uh, specific names of the tales, but in the tales surrounding 343, he's just a better, uh, it's just a better version of the, of the article, really. And it improves on the original. But if you approach it as, in isolation as just one thing you're going to be more disappointed than you might otherwise be now this disconnect between what makes a series one fan and a series be and everyone else fan is it's one of the more serious divisions in the scp community and it's one that it does fall mostly around age lines but i don't even think most people who denigrate series one fully understand the reasons why people enjoy the Series 1 stuff. And I also don't think the Series 1 people understand why their voices aren't heard. You want the stuff that you want, you have to actually speak. And on the SCP Wiki, the only way to speak is to vote. So you have to register for the Wiki. You, have to, you don't have to participate in any other way. You just need to register for Wiki. register for the Wiki, join it, properly there's guides i think i've done videos on this and even if there aren't, i haven't it's very easy to join the scp wiki i know and a lot of people are like i've been trying for well it i'm sorry that's on you if you've been trying for a while and it's just failing every time that you're doing some you are doing something wrong um i can say that pretty definitively unless you've been i mean well even even and even then but unless you've been banned from the wiki for x reasons which i can't speak to because i don't know your individual contexts but it, yeah if you've joined and or you haven't joined because you can't figure out how that's on you man it's not difficult and if you want to see more like interconnected stories and simple stuff like in series one, which is what it is, you know, simple individual stories that connect into a broader narrative instead of a single page, like a single page explaining everything and exhausting all opportunities for additional, not all opportunities, by the way, there's always additional opportunities for stories, but exhausting most of the readily obvious opportunities for stories. And you don't like that in modern SCPs. Well, that's on you. You've got to join to make your voice heard. Nobody cares if you've read it and liked it or didn't like it. All that matters to an SCP author, speaking as an SCP author, is the upvotes and downvotes. If it fails, then I'm doing something wrong and I need to change my approach. If it succeeds, I'm doing something right and I should keep doing what I'm doing. So the articles you see on the wiki that you don't like, if you don't want them to be there, you have to join and make your voice heard. Not that I think that you should downvote those sorts of tales either, because I think it's not an us versus them sort of thing. It's different tastes for different people. But if you want to see more of a specific type of story, what you should do is be more positive about the stories that are on the SCP Wiki. Make sure they survive. Make sure they get upvoted. And if you do that, more people, and write them yourself too, 
more people will write them if they can get upvotes for doing them. But if they don't, if they languish in, you know, if they fail or if they languish in single digits, then what's the point? You're going to write the long, uh, you know, 10,000 word story if that's the one that's going to get them the upvotes. And is, it, is that a cynical way of looking at things? Yeah, absolutely. There doesn't need to be this divide. And we don't need to gatekeep either. We don't need to be looking at like, <clears throat> oh no, we don't want more ser we don't want more series one type stuff. So we should try and keep these people from joining the wiki, which is a underlying current and thing that really does go on. And then the other people go on like, oh, well, what we should do is we should get in there and we should downvote all this, all this new stuff so that no one ever writes anything like it ever again. It's not us versus them. All boats can rise at the same time. We can have both types of stories on the SCP Wiki at the same time. It's like this uh, more recent trend of short form, like it's short form versus long form. Just have both and the medium stuff at the same time. It's, it's, it's not a problem. Everybody has different tastes. The SCP Wiki is huge. Let people's tastes define what they read and what succeeds. There's more than enough room for the different niches. Let those niches be filled and don't, you know, if you don't, if I don't like Sarkic stuff, that's a good example of things. I don't like body horror or horror in general. So I don't read those things generally, unless somebody really insists that I read them. And that's fine. I'll read them, but usually I don't like them. I, no matter how good they are. Otherwise, I should say. Uh, usually like the quality level of like if I read a body horror or a horror article, uh, if the quality level meets a certain threshold, that's enough to overcome my negative opinion of those genres. But oftentimes that's just getting me to a neutral vote. I'm, you're starting at a you're starting at a disadvantage. It's very difficult to get me past that. But does that mean I go out there and I seek out horror stories and downvote them? No. I mean, why would I do that? Why would I seek out the content that I don't like that I know for a fact that plenty of other people do? Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I just wanted to talk a little bit about what is and isn't the real SCP Foundation and how different people approaching the SCP Wiki from different places can end up coming to completely different conclusions about what is and isn't best. Um... But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And then head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki and MC Cashmill, who has pledged at $50 and Sinjariki has pledged at $100. I definitely uh, am still sick. You can almost certainly hear that in my voice. I've been coughing on and off, but hopefully I've cut most of that out. Um, but yeah, I needed to get back to making regular videos uh, because I can't really afford not to. So uh, yeah, just thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Tuesday.